Welcome, this is Nalta Explorers 24. We're in Portugal, the Algarve, at Dell Partner Conference. And it's amazing to be here, sitting next to the pool, very close to the beach, with Chris Wolf, Wolfie for Intimi. Uh, great having you here. Thank you for having me. Delighted to be here. Could you please introduce yourself to our audience? Sure. Uh, Chris Wolf from Boston. I look after OEM and IoT partnerships and go to market for Dell Technologies. Why can friends call you Wolfie? What's the story behind that? What do your friends call you? Mike. Mike, well, all my friends call me Wolfie, and please do. You already knew something about Nalta. We're both very, very enthusiastic about IoT. So you're working for Dell for how long now? Exactly 366 days. It's an anniversary. It's an anniversary. Guys, I started on my birthday. Flew to Ireland, had my first day. Flew to Ireland again yesterday for my second anniversary <laughs> with Dell. So. And these, uh, these last 366 days, um, what are your findings? How is it working for Dell in the IoT space? It's, I saw a huge opportunity for us to take ideas that were born at scale in our OEM business, package those as bundles for our partners to bring to their end customers with proven financials, proven economic outcomes, proven scope of work, and to provide their security and management services alongside those. So we've been focused on that and that's been really exciting. And when looking at IoT from your perspective, um, what's the definition of IoT for you? I don't really worry about the definition of IoT. I just worry about the way smarter devices can help make life better for all of us, whether that's at home, we're at work in our communities and enabling those outcomes is what I think of as IoT. Yeah, uh, uh, people ask me the question often, uh, what's, what's IoT all about? Um, and you get so many different answers and I have to admit I really like your answer because it has the, uh, the enabling part in it for our customers, um, the business outcome part in it for our customers. Um, and probably that's the reason why you start working on bundles? I started working on bundles, frankly, because we had to sell what we had on the truck. <laughs> nothing, really? nothing magical about that. But then it really gelled and became magical. We can give a buyer and a seller a predictable recipe. What's it going to take in terms of people, skills, time, money to achieve a particular business outcome? And we can prove that with real world examples, not a first of instance. So I think the, the challenge for us is getting enough human creativity. What can people do with this cool stuff? So you, ha you have the bundle. Could you give an example of one of the bundles? Sure. Our, our classic example is refrigeration. When you go into a supermarket, they may have refrigerators in that supermarket that were installed 20 years ago, two days ago, today. Mm -hmm. Many of them are huge energy consumers. Most of us want to reduce our carbon footprint for all kinds of social and economic reasons. We can put an external sensor on a refrigerator to make sure the yogurt's treated like yogurt and the lettuce is treated like lettuce, and we save the money in the delta there. And, and where does the creativity kick in? Most people thought, well, shouldn't I use my refrigeration company to provide me that data? Mm -hmm. We said, well, you could, but we can get your speed to value faster if you put a secondary sensor external to that refrigerator. And when you refresh those refrigerators, then maybe you'll get that data from your manufacturer. So this is a perfect example of a great IoT solution. Um, the bundle itself, is it in production already? Easy to, easy to put in production. We're taking off-the-shelf components, putting them in a box at distribution with a single SKU that any of our partners can order. It's kind of like these mail services. When you go to a website and say, I want chicken paella similar to what I had here in Portugal, it would take me a long time to find the perfect recipe, and there's a good chance I'd miss some of the ingredients. Blue Apron provides that to me with the proteins, all of the pre-measured ingredients, me en place, ready to go, it takes me 30 minutes to deploy, and I know it's gonna cost me $50. That's the kind of uh, easy outcome that we're looking for with these bundles. And, and what is a typical partner uh, enabling those bun uh, bundles? In my opinion, the best partners have feet on the street who can do the physical labor of deploying the gateway and the sensor. If you can deploy a wireless access point, you've got the right skill set. The best partners, however, have discipline in 
capturing birth certificate information about those assets, managing them from the day they were born until the day they retired, and watching for availability and security on those devices. You know, every device needs to be secured and managed. And then we're in Portugal. Yes. And yes. with 500 partners. Yes. Um, which is very exciting. I, I, I travel to these conferences every year with a lot of enthusiasm and f it's fun to be around yep. uh, the community. Um, but I do get the, the idea or the sense that not many partners are already leveraging on IoT and the uh, opportunities that are in the field. Um, how, do you f how does that feel for you? What's your responsibility to enable those partners? We care about our partners' digital future. This wave is coming to partners whether they get on board or not. Winter's coming for those who choose not to get on board. We're going to give them bundles as a way to help them segue into IoT easily, both from the buy side and the sell side. Uh, buyers also want to embrace IoT and don't know where to get started. So mm -hmm. this gives them a bite-sized chance to get going. And you're right, we have an industry that many naysayers who say, I've seen this before, maybe this isn't for me, it's going to be too heavy a lift. So we're going to overcome that with cheerfulness and, and persistence. Okay, well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you in our Nalta Explorers. Thank you, Michael. Um, number, Michael, yeah, friends call me Michael, will be. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you have any questions for Wolfie, uh, please put them in the comments below and I will make sure uh, they reach you. Thank, thank you, you so much.